All right, let's talk about Panisa Will. Uh, he was giving up a sack yesterday, a little bit more in detail. And people saying that he quit. And also, we're going to talk about Levi or Zorky or, or Anna Zorky, whatever his name is. Shout out to Detroit Lions for a playlist here in the video. Let's start off with Levi, okay? He only he got injured in the first pad of practice. And one of the concerns I had about him and Panisa Will was that um, they didn't play in a year. They didn't play college football in two years. And that was a big, that was a big issue for me taking them one and two. Now, Penisa Will is always going to be measured up. His talent is going to be measured up against Justin Fields. And what I heard today, Justin Fields went off in the preseason game. I think it was versus Miami. So, um, so people are always going to compare that. Mac Jones and a lot of other people that went behind him, Devontae Smith and guys like that. So, the, the Lions, you know, that's what Brad Holmes is going to have to, have to go against it right now. They first two round picks. A lot of fans don't care about what happened in college or, or if they played or not. You're getting paid to do a job, but people gotta understand, you know, think about not working for two years, right? Even if you're working out, doing the job is a totally different mental and physical aspect. That's like what it is. You offer two years on disability or whatever you got bag and you took some leave time and come back, it's gonna be a different getting attached to eight hours and telling somebody what to do and how to do it in real time speed. Excuse my neck is hurting. Me. And that's what it is. It's different. You can't really simulate football. You can't you can't simulate the pass and the hitting and stuff. You ain't did that in two years. That's kind of a concern for me because you may you may need a season to crank it up. You may need a season to get you people say you've been doing it your whole life. If this was basketball, I'd be like maybe you know. But this is this is football. It's a totally different. It's a totally different sport. That's what people need to understand. It's a totally different sport. Like none, other, no other. It's like none, no other. Us and this in hockey is just it's a different type of contact. So with, with with them two, man, I just I'm at the point where I'm at the point where I'm, I'm at the point where we're gonna get them some time. And it may have been smart had they slid Panisa Will on the inside, but or Zorky hurting himself, they sent him to a few back specialists. Who knows? You may get something out of them this year. You may get nothing out of them. But I felt that he was the most talented defensive lineman out there. And they saying he got fundamentals to catch up on this, that, and the third. That's come for not playing the year. So right now, he's at the point where you might have to red shirt him a year like Julie. Or it might be like Amani Aurora. Yeah, remember he missed the season. He got a and he got a little portion at the end. And he basically the film and what he did on film, it clicked and he turned into a really good corner. So I think I think with Levi, that might just be the case. But how they look yesterday, they definitely need they need continuity. And they gonna need uh they're gonna need to get them come they're gonna have to build camaraderie right away because the way that front seven looked I busted my thing open. The way that front seven looked yesterday, they didn't look like they had any continuity. But with him, trust me, the talent is there. If he's healthy and they they push him, the talent is there. We're talking about quickness, speed, burst, get off. He puts you in the mind frame of a diamond suit, maybe about 10, 20 pounds, 10 pounds lighter. He put you in a mindset of Dominic Sue, and they was gonna count on they was counting on him this year to get to get sacks and get pressure. So um, strong, violent, great hands. He's one of the better defensive players in this draft this year, but back injuries and back backs can cripple you. So, you know, it might be a rare shot year where he gotta just get stronger, rehabilitate that back, but he he was gonna be a big part of what they done. And then now the question is this. Do you throw some more on the lean plate? Put Panisi on interior tackle and ask Aleem to rush. That's a question. Do you ask Aleem to rush, or you put Panisi at the, at the ta nose tackle, or do you ask John Panisi to get out there and, and, and be better at rushing, or can you count on Deshaun Hill? It's just a lot of ifs. With Rockers, Rockers more of a he, he got the body of a passer, he's more of a run stopper. So you got to ask yourself now. We got to find a group that's going to build continuity and, and gap discipline. It's, 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 it's just. It's tough when you got dudes injured, but this was a concern drafting him. Him and Penisa Will didn't play in a couple years. This was a concern. This is still a concern. You know, how far do you rush them back? How do you ease them in? And they learned the hard way is you should have eased them brothers in. But Orzorki was going to be a big part of what they did as far as gap discipline, run defense, and most importantly, rushing the passer. Now you got to call. Now what do you do? Do you, you know, with hand hurt and Levi, those were your two pass rushers. Your third best pass rusher was probably Aleem and Panisi. So, so what do we do now? We call a 22 catch, and we just say, you know what? We're going to run with Panisi, Aleem, 
and Brockers or Nick Williams, and hope hopefully it worked. But it's never good when your two your pass rushers on the D line go down. But um, you know, shit happens, man. And unfortunately, you know, like I said before, and that defensive line looked trash yesterday. But um, moving on, Panisa Will. People saying he quitting this and he didn't quit on that play. Once somebody get, once a motherfucker get up under you like that and get past you. All you really could do in real time, you probably a lot of times you can't even hold. A lot of times in real time, all you can do is uh pray. Or hold him if you can. But the way he got up under Penisa Will, it was a wrap. The bend he got up under, it's nothing he could do but try to pancake him, but that's real time speed. So not really concerned about it. But then again, just go back, do you play him? Excuse me, do you play him at nose tackle? That's the question. Do you I mean do you play him at guard and let high tackle play right tackle? Once again, he's another guy who didn't play a lot of football. He didn't play no football last year. He didn't play football in two years. He didn't play football in two years. So I just think it's to a point where maybe they need to put him at guard and then like like they did Frank Ryan on, put guard, put him at guard and then push him at center eventually. So that that might have to be an option for the Detroit Lions to put this brother at guard and then let him figure it out next year at right tackle. And had he played last year at tackle? I wouldn't have no problem. Had he played last year at all? I think at this point, you play him my guard, kick him out right tackle. But um, like I said, this is looking to be a long season. After I seen what I seen last night, that just let me know that the Lions offense and defense are both bums and just beat up on each other. That let me know it's nothing different happening. The culture don't turn just because you get new coaches. The culture turn and the coaches turn and the, and the, and the team turn, you know, it takes time. It takes time to turn to turn around. It takes time to turn around a regime, turn around a culture, turn around something like it's gonna take some time. You got new players, you got guys that didn't play a lot, you got didn't have preseason last year, but the biggest concern that they facing is in the trenches. You put all that capital in the offensive line. At some point, it's gonna have, it's gonna have to be Jerry Goff can't care the offensive line. At some point, you got to run the ball. At some point, you got to protect. At some point, they got to stop the run. So, we'll see what happens, man. But, um, quite frankly, right now, I don't really see too many mass improvements from last year. But, still early. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to check out Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Don't forget to be on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Reach out to your business question, inquiry, response, or video quest. All my social media subscription. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate. Thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Other than that, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Marcy Sports Talk, one time for one time. Peace. And uh, make sure you guys check out uh, my Piston stuff too, peace.